sometimes down underneath all of that is the potent message that we forget when we're dealing with it as entertainment. And uh, um, I don't know Beyonce, I've never met her. I, uh, 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 maybe one of the great desires of life. <laughs> Popular culture in America has literally driv driven the field uh, in so many ways. And when I say the field, I mean not just uh, the notion of music that we hear on radio, uh, see on television, and the performances, but it has been one of the things that has brought to uh, the attention of the American people the, the concerns, the social concerns, uh, of how we live, what we do, etc. Anecdotally, I'll just say I, I met Jay Z, and, and uh, that's not like meeting Beyonce. <laughs> and I was in an art uh, uh, exposition, they would call it because there were so many uh, dealers and what have you there. And I, a friend of mine uh, was walking along with me and. Uh, Several people came up to me and, and said, oh, I have your, your book, Two Centuries. Will you sign it for me? And I said, sure, and I was signing. And my friend, who knew who Jay-Z was, I didn't, um, <laughs> said, um, uh, do you see how Jay-Z was looking at you when, you when these people were asking for your signature? said they weren't asking for his. <laughs> and I, I said, well, who is Jay-Z? <laughs> um, and honestly, I didn't know who he was. He was there to buy art, and he does buy art. He bought a Basquiat for Beyonce and paid over $5 million for it. Mm -hmm. I, when they told me who he was, I wanted to say, well, I, I do art. <laughs> Popular culture uh, has so many facets, but when we look at what it has done to legitimize the social scene, then we come up with all of these uh, components, uh, the feminist movement, the black arts movement, the black cultural movement, black lives matter movement. All of these things are, are recent and uh, recent components of what we would call popular culture. At one time, we were all happy to sit back and try and be middle class and do all of our things within this particular uh, uh, array of what the American dream was about. But now we realize that the American dream is inclusive of so many components. I think we have to look above and beyond uh, the surface sometime to see the potency of the message. There is no one direction in American culture. It is a broad spectrum of inclusion which should be comprehensively broad enough to embrace all of the wonderful things that are out there. And many of those things come to us through popular culture. Um, Beyonce being one of the <laughs> exponents of that, it's amazing to me how she can be so popular with what she does, how she does it, and yet at the same time uh, bring all of these uh, divergent elements into focus and make us concentrate on something other than seeing this beautiful woman perform. I mean, she's very popular and all of that, but she's also throwing a message out there.